welcome back to my channel. It's been a while guys but we're back with another clothing haul. I got a little bit bored and I just went and bought my ASOS basket. Now ASOS is somewhere that I've actually, I don't really buy from there. I'm always looking on the website like at least once a day at the new stuff and I do like a lot of the stuff that they have on there but I don't know why I just don't really buy from them that much. And I'm not gonna lie, I feel like every time I buy something from ASOS, it comes and it's like nothing it was like on the website. So hopefully we don't get that today. I spent around, I don't normally tell you how much I normally spent, but I spent around 90 pounds and it, it's a mix of all different stuff. So we've got, pretty sure we've got shampoo and conditioner in there, a bit of hair products, clothes, and then that's it, I think. Kind of can't remember what I got, but I literally just went and bought my ASOS basket. Also, guys, I've had my eyebrows done, and I'm not too sure, I'm just looking at them in the viewfinder, how I feel about them. Let me know in the comments down below. I think it's because they're really, they're bigger than normal, and I'm not used to it. I'll probably get used to it, and they're gonna fade out in time, so yeah. But, let's just get into the video. So, I've got my knife. Where is it? Where are you? I came prepared this time, guys and gals. I'm gonna leave this one to last and let's just get into the big beauty. I'm pretty sure it's already opened here. Excusez-moi. But speaking of excusez-moi, the French language. Oh, I'll just do it this way. Anyways, speaking of the French language, I'm in fact going to Paris next month. It's literally about a month away. I'm pretty sure it's the 18th today. Today's a Saturday I'm filming this and I'm posting it tomorrow. I go to Paris next month and I am vlogging it. I'm doing daily vlogs. So we're gonna have the best content on this channel. A lot of traveling vlogs are coming. I'm so excited. So if you're not already subscribed, please do because it helps me out so much. I'm just so excited to go to Paris, like, I've never been, so it's going to be so fun. Oh my god, why can't I get into this? I'm nearly there. Oh, Jesus Christ. I feel like every time I do a haul video, I always have so much trouble getting into the packages. think with the amount of hauls I do and I have done on this channel I'd be used to opening it oh my god there we go oh that is cute so I've had this I'm gonna just pick out the first thing that's on the top this is sadly not a try on haul I may try a couple on probably won't show you guys though so this is a jumper and it's like I've never really saw anything like this before I'm not sure if it's gonna suit me. I don't know why I got a jumper when it's, mind you, it's spring. Oh my God, it can be part of my spring wardrobe. So it's like, is that blue underneath or per No, it's blue. So it's like knitted where it looks like it's a net, but it's not. It's coming up really, really pink on the camera, but it's literally just, it's not the same pink as that at all. Never mind. but this is it. I'm not sure how I feel about it. I'm going to have to try it on and then let you know. I'm going to have to try it on, aren't I, guys? Never mind. I'll try. I'll try. I've got two jumpers. I'll try both jumpers on and then let you know because I can't obviously not do that. So we're going to try the jumpers on at the end of the video. And it's just like, it looks like it's netted, but it's not. It's just the way it's been knitted. So it's like pink and then blue in the middle. I don't, like, it's one of them. I'm going to have to wait and see how it looks when it's on me. Because when I'm looking at it in the camera, I don't like it. And then I look at it in person and I like it. It's kind of one of them. Kind of weird. But yeah, this was, I don't know how much this was. Let me just go check. This jumper was actually only £16.80. Which I kind of think is really good. I did get it in a size 8. 
so we will try this on at the end of the video i don't know why i'm becoming such a pink kind of girl i think it's the bedding like i've been saying about my room i feel like it's getting too pink now and i don't even like pink that much like everything seems to be pink in my room though and it's just i don't know why i've just got so much pink out of nowhere but let's move on to the next item oh i'm excited for this i'm so excited for this so speaking of parry i have got this barrette barrette barret it's not a barrette I think that's how you spell it but it's a beret i think tell me if i'm wrong tell me if i'm wrong but i'm super nervous because i've bought i've had my eye on this for a while it's actually from new girl order and i was i, I have quite a big forehead so i was a bit scared in case this wasn't going to suit me sorry if you kind of see me looking in the viewfinder i kind of want to see how it looks on me let's try it on i'm scared guys I planned a look for this so I need to piece all the look together because I actually bought the bottoms to it as well in this order so I need to try it on and see if it suits me but how do you even the woman was too stunned to speak <laughs> guys I think it's a no from me Guys, it's a no from me. I can't wear this. <laughs> Guys, it's a no from me. I look like a mushroom out of Mario. What are they called? How how do you even style this so it looks good? I, I'm I'm a bit confused. And how does it look so good on the models? I planned this for a look, and it's just maybe if I style it better, let's flatten it a bit. No, that's making it even worse maybe bring it it's not happening is it oh i'm gonna show you so random so random but i'm gonna show you this because i actually use i'm gonna put a picture here this shampoo and conditioner every tom dick and harry uses this shampoo and conditioner i've been using it for ages and i have really really healthy hair guys really healthy hair never dip dyed it never dyed it never done any bleach nothing to it always had my natural color all i've ever done to my hair is just cut it and then everyone always compliments tom what's the word compliments me so sorry anyways everyone always compliments me on how like healthy and thick and nice my hair is and how shiny and glowy it is and ever since i swapped shampoos to that shampoo my hair like it still looks shiny and stuff and good and healthy and fresh but i know myself it is just not the same and i was scrolling through tiktok and i saw that the shampoo that i'm using is bad for me even though it's meant to be good for you but it said i've looked for ones that are better for me and it said these are the go-to i'm not gonna lie i'm pretty sure i paid 10 pound it could it comes to be 10 pound each it might have been 10 pound for them both let's have a little quick look i paid 10 pound fat yeah but 11 pound for my shampoo and conditioner it's called monday i did get it off asos obviously i'm not sure if you could get it in like asda or tesco or super drug or somewhere like that let it focus please but the bottles are really cute maybe fragrance might be bad for you in your hair but this literally smells of nothing maybe the conditioner might smell of something but the shampoo literally smells of nothing i'll probably let you know in like a vlog or something how this is gonna go for me but i'm definitely binning out my old shampoo also the hair food it's it garnier yeah the garnier hair food i also have that that is actually really bad for you it's like hair food like a hair mask if you're using it stop using it it's actually really bad for you i didn't even know i've been using that for ages i think everyone actually uses that more than the shampoo and conditioner that's even worse for you so if you have it stop using it next we have i only have three items left guys this is all i bought for 90 quid that's it anyways this is kind of a bit boring 
this is a part of my outfit for Paris which was meant to go with this but I originally wasn't going to do the outfit with this it was just to make it look more extra but it works anyway without it but I don't know why every all the girls must be buying them but you know like just a simple black short skirt all gone everywhere I was not paying £40 just for a mini black skirt off of um motel rots because I'm only going to wear it once so I've got this one where's it from oh it's actually ASOS design but I've got this one hopefully it's not see-through let's have a look I kind of want to oh god kind of is a little bit no it's you can't really tell on the camera oh no it's not it's not that bad in fact yeah it is in person but on the camera you can't tell but yeah it's just a normal black fabric stir kind of small though but it's nice and stretchy so it'll be fine i kind of want to tell you what the outfit is that i'm planning but if you don't already follow my instagram i think you should go follow it if you don't already because it would mean the world to me and i'm trying to go on more instagram shoots i literally went on one yesterday with my friends lauren and hannah and got some content it was really cool i always talk about it over on my tiktok so you guys should go follow all the rest of my socials if you haven't already but you will see the outfit on my instagram some point but yeah i'm so excited for paris oh my god it's getting it's getting so close anyways this is the skirt nothing to say about it and there's the skirt then the next thing we have is another jumper guys i know another jumper it's coming summer jess what are you doing but i'm not gonna lie in the uk it's sunny at the minute like i'm impressed it's two days on the run now it's been sunny but when that wind hits you oh my god it's freezing and it's quite cold on the night as well so i feel like i just need these in my wardrobe just to keep me warm so this is it whoa why is it like that there it's missing please tell me that's the back oh my god that's the front asos what is going on let me have a look at the photo because i swear i did not the arm is covering it i see you asos trying to cover up the big patch that you clearly didn't display on your website this is what i mean about asos like i don't know why when everything comes i think it just be might be me because i know everyone shops on asos it might just be my look but every time i shop on there it comes and it's not what i expect and i never get that from anywhere else but asos i do get that from miss Diders as well but yeah see look how this it's got like the massive misprint here i i didn't know it did that and it doesn't i'm going to show you the photo it doesn't have that on the photo so this is the back if it'll focus that's the back that's the front but the arm is covering where the misprint is it doesn't show you at all so that is so annoying it's just the little things asos you kind of need to up your game i'm sorry i'm sorry maybe i'll come to love you more in the summertime but i want to try this on because i'm intrigued to see what it looks like on me we all know how obsessed i am with blue at the minute poor old blue absolutely love it and then yeah it's just like tiger print but i'm not happy with this bit here i'm always so happy with my hauls not this asos one not gonna lie we'll try them on i'm gonna try these both on and see how they look but I have got one more thing and I can't remember what it is. I, I can remember it being something super basic though, so don't be like, oh my god. Also, you're all probably wondering why I haven't delivered a Jaded London haul recently. And I'm going to tell you why I'm unpackaging this. Jaded London just haven't been doing it for me at the minute. I'm hoping now spring is coming. They're going to come out with more coloured stuff because I have to wear black. 24 7 at uni i'm not allowed to wear anything else 
so I appreciate my colour that I can wear on the weekends and jeans in London is just not the recent stuff is not my style and it's not for me it's not a bit of me and it's not my taste what even is this oh uh, wait why have I bought this oh okay I bought this for my other look when I go to Paris I'm gonna crop it why why is it so low down okay bring it up it was the way I was holding it I think but I got this just plain white top because I have another look when I go to Paris and oh my god it's stunning like oh my god you would not expect me to wear it it's kind of a bit of a game changer for me so I'm excited to kind of show that on my Instagram but um it's kind of very flashy gashy if you <laughs> wait does that mean something else No, I'm pretty sure it doesn't. It flashes a bit here, basically. And I need like a little bit of a top or something, a white top, just a plain white top under it. So it's fine. So I got this, but that is literally it, guys. I know it was probably one of the quickest hauls I've ever done in my life. And it's probably one of my cheapest hauls I've ever done. But let's be real, I got four, I got two jumpers and two a skirt two basics and a hat and that's 80 quid do we think i've done well i don't know was it 80 or 90 let's have a look at my total so for all this my total was 81 pound 95 and the beret doesn't suit me and i'm not sure if the jumpers are going to suit me i got four items no five items for 81 pound 95 and i don't absolutely love any of them this is why i like buying i like i don't mind spending that bit of extra money on items like jaded london because i absolutely love and adore every single piece and i want to take care of it like my it's my baby you know what i mean i don't feel that way about anything that i've got today which is kind of sad but i feel like every time i do a haul i'm so in love with everything and the fact that i'm not this time it's okay a lot of exciting content is coming in april like really 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 exciting content so i'm just gonna say stick around for it because oh my god it is gonna be amazing like i could scream i'm so excited for the content that is coming in april so subscribe and be ready that's all i'm gonna say but i'm gonna go try these jumpers on and show you what they look like the thing is with me i only like having clothes if i absolutely adore them and i don't absolutely adore this like the fit like the arms are like weird and i just don't know is it for me i don't really think so so i'm probably gonna send this back yeah i'm sending it back guys oh at first not gonna lie i didn't mind this i didn't mind it at all then i got up and looked in the mirror and was like i don't love it again i don't love it and i don't really like keeping clothes that i i don't absolutely love like i've never been in this situation before where i've not absolutely loved what i bought so i don't really know how to feel right now but like again the arms I don't know why guys, I don't know what's going on. Bitch! Hold on. Anyways, I don't know why I feel like this guys. I've never had this happen to me in a haul before, as you would have seen. So overall, this haul was a big fat fail. Well it wasn't a big fat fail, that's a big fat lie. We got three things that we like i think the rest have got to go you know what i mean i'm just being honest with you i'm not gonna say i like it 
and keep it when I don't. Well, it's all right. I don't absolutely love it. I know I could get better. So, yeah. I think the moral of the story here, guys, is that ASOS isn't for me. And I just need to stop trying. Unless I am absolutely in love to the gods about something. Get it? But if I'm not, leave it. I can't believe how this haul has turned out to be. I always watch haul videos and then I'm always like, why, when I film haul videos, why do I always absolutely love everything that I thought? Maybe it's because I've been stalking it for about months before I've got it or something. I don't know. I, I normally absolutely love everything that I bought, I treasure it. I hardly ever send something back. And when I do, it's for a different size, a smaller or a bigger size. So I'm not used to having this feeling of not liking stuff, but I'm gonna have to send three items back. Three. I hate sending stuff back. It really pisses me off, I'm not gonna lie. But anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. It means the absolute world to me, like it genuinely does. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you next week for another video. Bye!